I started to take painting more seriously around my junior year in college. I was an art education major in undergrad and we had to take painting courses to teach art education. Before that and all through high school and as a child, I didn't like painting. I thought it was unnecessarily messy, but I always would draw. I actually started off drawing comic book characters and that's how I got into visual art. But since then I've expanded, but I always liked drawing because you could be clean and precise and specific and I thought painting was just messy and stupid. but. That goes to show you that you can change your mind and evolve over time because now I really love painting. I've always really enjoyed singing and I've sung pretty much my whole life. So I've often got people that have asked me would I ever audition for any shows, any of the, the reality TV shows or the vocal competitions on TV. Um, up to this time, I've just been very involved with college and I always wanted to get through college before I pursued my musical interests full time. But now that I'm done with school, which I recently um, finished and I got my master's from Boston, my Master of Fine Arts in painting from Boston University um, last May. So now that I'm done with school, I may think about auditioning for some shows, maybe so, maybe not, but up to this date, I haven't done that yet but it would probably be a lot of fun. When it comes to my work, I feel that professionalism is very important. Now being, I'm very involved with lots of different aspects of the art world. Uh, I do theater and acting. I studied uh, visual art in, all through school and I've always been involved with music. And I just feel like if you're going to be involved with the arts, you have to be very professional. But I'm, I also have like a jokester side of me, so I'm also a prankster. And some, it's weird, but some visual artists aren't always what you would call professional. Some of them were very laid back, so I don't think I fit that stereotype as much because I always like to be very on the ball when it comes to things. Um, but I do leave myself open for experimentation and things in my work, but I do believe in being very professional and keeping a high standard when you're, when you're, when you're doing art. I believe it, it should be a high standard. Because you know if you're going to do visual art, you need space because making visual art can be very, very messy. Um, I've been trying to think about where I would set up studio space right now. I don't have studio space because I, the past six years I've just been bouncing around, bouncing around. I was in Arkansas for four years at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, and then I went up to Boston for the past two years, which I had studio space there, which is really great thing about being in a master's program. But now I'm sort of in this state of transition. And I think eventually I will get studio space, but right now I'm sort of just going with the flow. And lately, I haven't really been making that much visual art lately. I've been more into performing and music. Um, and I think it's good sometimes when you're doing visual art to take breaks and step back so that your work doesn't get stale. So once I, once I return to visual art, I do believe I will get studio space. But right now, I'm just going with the flow. I've always been more so interested in the visual art, so there wasn't a specific painting that made me start painting, but they, I definitely have artists that influence me and that I look up to. Of course, I really love Van Gogh. His work is great, and although it sometimes gets me into trouble when I say it with some of my fellow artists, I really love Warhol's work. I love pop art. I think pop art gets a bad rap. I think it's great. <laughs> I love loud colors, expressive colors. I have a lot of fellow artists who are really into the earthy palettes and earthy tones, which I enjoy that too, but I'm a more of an expressive personality and loud colors. It might come from being a fire sign. I don't know. <laughs> but definitely Warhol, Van Gogh's work. Those are two artists that I really, really like. And also Brock and other influences that escaped me at the time, but I'm definitely, 
I lean towards a more saturated palette, color palette. I came up in the AME Church and I sang in the children's choir with the AME Church. The name of the choir was The Amazing Creations, but I was also, I was always involved with that from a very young age. So I was always singing, but artists that influenced me, well, first off, I'm into a lot of different types of music from classical to jazz to R&B to pop. I really admire and look up to the work of Paul Robeson, Marion Anderson. I love, 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 love Mariah Carey, her range, her melisma is awesome. Of course, I'm an avid Prince fan, so I, we, we both really like purple. We said I had purple one today. Really love purple. Uh, that's my name on Twitter, Purple Divinity. In fact, I really like purple. So Prince, Mariah Carey, um, and I already said Paul Robeson. He was, he was not only a great singer, he was a great actor, a great, great as far as academics. He was a great athlete. He was just a renaissance man. And I believe I aspire to be like him as well. I'm involved with lots of different fields as far as education. I've worked with um, Children's Defense Fund Freedom School for the past five summers doing reading enrichment with children. I just like to be involved with a lot of things and to give back. I feel that that's important. And I feel it's a very important thing about being an artist. You have to share your art. You just can't put it in a vacuum. Art in a vacuum doesn't exist. You have to expose people to it. This is a bus that is made, that was made using clay. And you all are probably familiar with it. When you first get it, it's set up in sort of a mud, like a thick mud form, and then you form it, but then you put it in a kiln, which is sort of like an oven. It gets really, really hot, and it makes the clay undergo a chemical change. And that's how you get this sort of rock-like form that you have now. But this was a bus that I did on myself. As you can see, at that time, I had a different hairstyle, but I wanted to bring this in and show you peace. You see, again, I use the color purple. Um, whenever I'm using my work, I'm often thinking about color meanings. And I use purple a lot because it's a color associated with uh, spirituality and also with royalty. But I think about color meanings whenever I'm doing artwork. Red is a color that's been associated with passion throughout history. Yellow is a color that's a universal color of attention. Uh, that's why you see a lot of red and yellow in fast food signs. It's a, a way of getting your brain's attention when you see a lot of red and yellow. So you see a lot of that in fast food. Color is very, very interesting if you just think about the aspects of it. Uh, but we can have a more in-depth conversation about that later. But yeah, purple is awesome. One of my paintings that I did about three years ago in my during my senior year in um, undergrad and this painting is entitled red kanye and as you can see his skin is literally red D during this series which i entitled this series fame monsters and i was working on this series during the time lady gaga had just dropped her fame monsters album and i was very interested in that title so i wanted to take that title and use it to make some paintings and in this series, I took popular images of celebrities and I would alter their face colors to make paintings. And while I was altering their face colors, I did this thinking very specifically about the colors. Different colors have different associations in my mind and I associate different people's personalities to different colors. I did Kanye in red because red is a color associated with passion and strength. And I did his hair in different variations of blues and purples, and purple is a color associated with spirituality. But in the series, I also did paintings of John Lennon, Lady Gaga, Michael Jackson, Elvis, Madonna, you know, all the heavy hitters in the music in industry. I also did Mariah Carey. But I'm, I'm just very interested in color in general. Like I tell you, paintings have, colors have specific meanings and symbolisms throughout culture. Yellow is a color associated with grabbing attention. Red is a color associated with passion. Blues and greens are colors that are used to elicit relaxation and calming feelings. So you'll see a lot of that in my work, but 
as far as a Fame Monster title go, I was just very interested in the fact that I do think fame creates monsters or that fame can bring out the monsters in people. Just think about it. If you had people telling you that you were the best at what you do, hyping you up all the time, just boosting your ego, wouldn't you think that you could do whatever you want and just like get away with it and nobody have a problem with it? So it's just a very interesting thing to think about. All right, people, I hope you have enjoyed listening to me talk about my life and talk about art. If you ever want to hear me sing, I frequent soul sessions down at the Jew Castle lot, so you can come down there on Mondays and hear me sing. And please, please, please go to my website, sagearts.com, S-A-J-A-R-T-S, and check out my work and tell me what you think. You can hit me up on Twitter at Purple Divinity. I'm a very friendly person. I will respond and I am team follow back. I will follow back. So please hit me up. Have a nice day.